Tony Stevens coming at you from the PKY here on October 1st, 2010. The PKY, if you're not familiar with what that stands for, stands for Paris, Kentucky, and which is in Bourbon County. Um, there's so much going on here this weekend. It's it's ridiculous. Um, I'm definitely going to be burning my camera up this weekend. There's Not only is the World Equestrian Games winding up, from their two week run which is really an important deal because this is the first time ever that the World Equestrian Games has been in the United States it's usually in Europe and they brought it to the horse park there in Lexington Kentucky which is about 18 miles away from me so and you know Bourbon County is the the horse capital of the world uh, here with all of our horse farms like Claiborne Farms and things like that so uh, this past two weeks has been really busy here in Kentucky with all that going on. And this weekend, like I said, it's crazy with all the things going on here in Bourbon. We've got the Reed Valley Orchard Festival, Secretariat Festival, the Friends of Stoner Creek Fancy Flood Zone Boat Ride and Picnic, the Ruddles Mill Community Supper, and uh, during that Community Supper, the three uh, candidates for Bourbon County's um, Judge Executive Office will be there to answer questions and have a debate and all that. And those candidates are Tony Horn, Donnie Foley, and Sherry Hunsinger. Um, we've got the um, the Hopewell Museum Ewalt's Fall Open House going on, Old Union's Auction, Trinity Men's Group Country Breakfast, Bourbon Heights Annual Flea Market, New Life Ministry Women's Conference, Singing in Millersburg Park, the 8th Annual Buddy Walk, Jimmy Brannon's Roast and Toast, uh, the flea market out at the Bourbon County Drive-In, and of course the numerous end-of-season yard sales. Um, like I said, it's just, it's nuts. Um, Saturday, even though all that's going on, Saturday, we, uh, Darren and I are going with our cousins Michelle and Stephanie to see The Social Network, which is the Facebook movie. And so I'm looking forward to that because I really want to see that movie. Um, I went to Hocking Hills State Park in Ohio a few weeks ago. That park is absolutely amazing. We went down into Old Man Caves and it's just it's breathtakingly beautiful. Of course Ohio didn't get the rain this season that they're used to so the falls weren't really going. It was a trickle but you know what are you going to do? Mother Nature decided not to give them rain and so the falls was a trickle but still it was amazing anyway. I didn't get to see and do everything that I wanted to do down there but that's okay because I'll be going back and when I go back I will do everything that I wanted to see and do. I did get to go to Grandma Faye's which is a little gift shop slash camping store right there in the heart of Hocking Hills State Park and it was really cool. Um, I'm a rock hound which means I collect rocks and they had rocks from the area that had already been polished and tumbled and all that so I got a little bag of those I was happy with him. Of course, I brought Darren back a shot glass, which I bring him a shot glass from everywhere we go. And he actually got a couple of shot glasses because we went to an antique slash flea market mall like thing. And I found him one in there too, which was awesome. You know what? I think fall is really here now. Um, this week we've had cooler temperatures and it's been great. And I can't believe I'm saying that because you all know me. I'm all about the summertime and I'm all about the heat. Well, this summer kind of sucked because because of the mosquitoes eating me alive. As soon as I stepped out of the door, I stayed in most of the summer. No tan, no nothing, which just bites. But that's okay. Um, but fall is here. I can go outside without getting ate up. Which, yeah, I know. I'm already ate up, but that's besides the point. You know what I mean. Um, the leaves are actually falling. It's awesome. It, when I go outside for a smoke break at work, if the wind is up, all these leaves are just everywhere on 8th Street, and it's just, I know I'm weird, but you know, I like that. I think it's cool. My tomatoes are possessed, though. They are still blooming. Um, I think the cooler temperatures this weekend will actually kill the vines out, but we've been picking tomatoes every single day, all the way up even till yesterday. I've got more out there that'll probably be red by this evening, and I'll be picking those, but my tomatoes 
they're possessed. They shouldn't still be blooming, but they are, and which I'm, I'm not griping because I like the tomatoes and they, we've had tomatoes all year long and have not had to pay the extremely high prices in the grocery stores for them. So, and just like my grape tomatoes, they were as big as small Romas this year. So, but yeah, we've had tomatoes all year and then, like I said, they're still blooming. Um, I think this will be the last weekend for them to bloom though because the temperatures are supposed to be a lot cooler. So, and my vines are finally dying out. Anyway, because of fall, it's time to start making all the fall goodies, the soups and the breads and, and all that. I'm gonna, I'm wanting to make a batch of my pumpkin bread and I probably won't get to do it this weekend because there's so much going on. But, um, yeah, I'm gonna be making a batch of that at least by next weekend. Uh, we've started making our homemade soups and stuff. We've already had vegetable soup, which was, oh, God, it was so good. And then Darren made chili last night. I don't eat chili. I can make it, but I don't eat it. I've got to be in the mood for it, and I'm in the mood for chili maybe once every two to three years. I just, I don't know. I just don't do chili. And then, of course, we'll be making potato soup and homemade chicken noodle soup. And, folks, I do that from scratch. And if I do say so myself, it's awesome. And we're going to try freezing some of the soups this year into in individual servings so that, you know, if I want chicken noodle soup one night and, you know, Darren wants chili, then we both can have whatever we want because we'll have it frozen. We just pull it out of the freezer and cook it up. <sighs> talking about food. You know i got to talk about working out. And guess what? I haven't been doing it. I am not being, I've not been consistent with it, and I have nobody to blame for myself, but myself, and I know this, so don't preach to me, I know, I know I need to work out, and more so now than ever, because we are going into winter, and that's when, I know other people do it too, but I'm really bad, I like to hibernate in the winter, not necessarily sleep, but hibernate as far as not leaving my house, only leaving when I have to, so it's very important that I get back to working out and do it consistently. Um, I don't know how I did it, but I lost three pounds this last week because we're still doing the whole weigh-in things on Wednesdays at work. And I honestly, I wasn't trying to lose the weight this week or anything else, but I did lose three pounds, which that's always a good thing. You know, any loss is a good thing. So that's better than gaining, right? Um, what else? Our middle son came back home. Imagine that. So maybe now he will grow up a little bit more and try to get his life straightened out and get on the right track. He's already got another job and um, we've helped him prioritize what he needs to pay, you know, because he left here and left responsibilities behind that he now has to take care of. But I think he's getting his life back on track, at least I hope he is. Oh, so, kids, what are you going to do? Um, as you can see, I still haven't got my hair cut. That is a goal for this weekend, though. I'm still wanting the, the long original shag cut. If I could find somebody that knows how to do an original shag. You go in and you tell them you want a shag, and they're like, oh, yeah, I can do a shag. And then you come out of there, and it's layered. Folks, that's not a shag cut. That's a layered cut. So, I definitely, I want a shag, and a longer shag, because, I mean, I don't have a lot of length, so I don't want to lose what length I do have. But, yeah. Anyway, that's a goal for this weekend. Um, oh, let's bounce back to talking about fall. It's time to switch the closet out. What do I mean by that? I mean taking all my summer clothes and putting them in the far end of the closet, bringing all my winter clothes up. So, I need to do that this weekend sometime. Um, I don't know when, but it'll happen. If I don't get to it to this weekend, then I'll probably do it on Tuesday when I'm off from the paper. But that has to be then. I'm going to be getting rid of a bunch of stuff, I imagine. I do all the time. Or not all the time, but, you know, every fall, every change of the season when I have changed clothes out, I end up getting rid of stuff. And plus, I've got a, a ton of junk. It's junk. It's clutter. i got a ton of that stuff on the back porch that I need to get rid of. And fall cleanup is coming here in Bourbon County in one week, I believe, or two weeks. Anyway... That's coming, so I'll be setting a bunch of stuff out and get getting my house decluttered. I hate to declutter because I am a clutter bug. I've got so much crap laying around, it's not even funny. 
But at least, you know, I do try to declutter at least twice a year. You know, give me kudos for that. But yeah, that's happening. So, if you know me, you know that October is my utmost favorite month of the year. Because that's when my utmost favorite holiday ever happens. Halloween. And you know, people are already paranoid around me because October hits and I'm all about the the fright, the scare, you know. Um, Steven's already paranoid. I got him really good last year. I hid in the refrigerator. And of course everybody was in on it but him. And I got a video of it but it's of his back. You really can't see a lot. But yeah, we've got a side-by-side -side refrigerator and I took everything out of the refrigerator part and hid in it and Darren sent him in there to get him an L8. For those not familiar with what an L8 is, it's a pop that's made here in Kentucky and um, they don't reach very far. But everybody here in Kentucky, well in this region of Kentucky, has tried L8. You either love it or you hate it. Me, when I was younger, I drank it like water. I loved it, um, but now I can't stand it. To me, now it tastes like kerosene, or what I imagine kerosene would taste like. So, <coughs> um, speaking of Halloween, me and Becca and Bobby and hopefully Becca's niece and my goddaughter are all going to be in Lexington on October 30th to do the Thriller Dance and Parade. Um, that's going to be so much fun. We, you know, we dress up like the zombies, you know, that like in Michael Jackson's uh, Thriller video and we do the Thriller Dance down Main Street in Lexington and um, Darren's going so that he can film us and everything so when that happens I'll you know I'll have to share that video that'll be awesome um, I think that's all for now I know I haven't blogged in a long time and no excuse for that either except that's just my fault I haven't got around to doing it anyway um, if I meet my goal of getting my hair cut this weekend then maybe I'll blog again on Tuesday even if I don't maybe I'll blog again on Tuesday I don't know so anyway this is Stormy coming at you from the PKY and I hope you have a great week weekend whatever bye